joke. I cannot believe this is happening. I'm literally about to fucking kill myself, and I'm not kidding. You better fucking fix this shit right now. I literally am gonna die. I need an ambulance. I can't believe. Help us now. Help us now. Help us. They don't want to do this. These people up there. These souls in their fucking yachts. They aren't in here, and they are not in our country. So just stay calm. Don't be violent. Thank you. <laughs> All right? Thank you. Thank you. We are strong. Do you see how strong we are? This could have gotten so worse. But we are taking it farther. We are taking it farther like the future cars are going to have more mileage and more than on the flag. We are going to make our forefathers feel like they are our dads and not sad and rolling in the grave because we are going to save our country. Save our country. Save our country. this civil for a change also brief but of course that all depends on if we get in uh you know get our respective points across thank you sir yeah uh it's a busy night for me i recorded a tribute episode for robert vaughn and i'm on this and we're already running late i like to seize opportunities but you know it's weird i have these um carpe diem <laughs> periods of inactivity and then there's an explosion and i'm doing a million different things at once all this shit happens at once we have an election and then robert vaughn dies and we're going to get ready to do an extreme cinema coming up. It was Barbara Streisand next week, right? Right. Like Yentl and uh, Mira has two fit. You wanted to do Nuts and Funny Girl, but I guess we decided not to do that. Did I want to do Funny Girl? I, I like think you nuts. wanted. It was either Funny Girl or Funny Lady. Did I want to do that? Yeah, I think it was you. I was like, no, I don't think so. I wanted I, to do Nick I'm Nolte nuts. in this, like so we nuts. gotta have the mirror. Fuck <laughs> everything else. That that chick is in. Like, nuts was fun. I was like, I watched that a lot when I was a kid. I don't know why, but I used to. It was one of the movies. It was in my rotation that she I watched. She curses a lot. All the time. Yeah, and, and Richard Dreyfus was good. It was a good. Yeah, he movie. curses a lot too. Yeah, and it was like I, I don't know. I was too young. It's, like, for fu- it. it's basically I, two hours of fuck you. No fuck you. Fuck you. No fuck you. Actually, well, if it's Dreyfus, it's like it's like fuck you, and, and yeah. Barbara's like fuck you, darling. It's like fuck you, no fuck and then she's you. She's out on a date with Leslie Nielsen, and she's like, wanna fuck? <laughs> <laughs> she's one of those women that makes you drop to your knees and thank God you were born a man. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we uh, we had a short circuit a couple of days ago that lasted at its peak of operations. I want to say three days. That's what results if you overload a power conduit, a wire, or a serial bus, the wire or the bus melts and we see smoke. And that one broken link disrupts the communication and the power goes out. When I started observing the behavior, I wondered if it was possible that it was a cycle of conditioning being interrupted by the short circuit that caused what I can only call shared madness. <laughs> and I know emotions can run high. We're human. I know that. In those three days, I was surrounded by people who... This is hard to say. I was surrounded by people who turned into monsters. Or maybe monsters is too harsh a word. Maybe they were robots, given the contradictory result of robots. the calculation that they were told was solved. What do you think? What do I think? I, well, I, I saw the same thing you saw. Everybody saw it. Even the people that were doing it, I think, saw it. So, I, I, But, uh, yeah, it was a little bit of a 
sort of a bl glitch in the matrix there where glitch. a whole bunch of people went nuts mostly because the media was gaslighting them and lying to them forever about you know what the election was doing i was trying to tell people but people weren't listening to me so you know nobody does why would you listen to me anyway you know i'm just me but you're just you it's true we're all me yeah, you, well, who am I to else. listen to? You know, and I'm telling you that, of... that Trump is going to win Pennsylvania, and you go and look at all the experts, and they're like, ha, 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 that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Of course you're going to listen to the experts, but I yeah, was yeah, right, yeah. they were I, wrong. Uh, yeah, the New York <laughs> Times is the biggest early indicator, because they were like, oh, well, fucking 90% Hillary Clinton, and then it starts yeah. to go down and down and down, and then it gets up to 59% Trump, and then it's like 87% Trump, and then everybody's yeah. shitting their pants at that point. Oh, yeah. Well, I have I a mean, couple of uh, Facebook smatterings I just wanted to throw your way. These are just sentences, a couple of sentences that I saw turn up a few times. And it sort of it sort of lends itself to the robot theory because robots get, you know, imagine that you're uploading a bunch of commands to a bunch of robots and it's the same thing. They're robots. Right? And they're all going to say the same how... thing. And these are the things they said. They said, I'm ashamed to be an American this day. Okay. Oh, Second one. Apparently, our country is made up of racists, bigots, sexists, and homophobes. And then, my favorite one, mm -hmm. uh, and this is a personal friend who wrote this. You deserve this, America. Fuck you. I hate you all. And I'll take it and be happy with it. Thank you very much. I'm not happy. All it right. made me disturbed. It wow. made me incredibly, incredibly uncomfortable. Now, we have the misdirected anger, the first stage. So it's right. like a, but it's, so, it, it's like a laser beam in a mirror ball with destructive energy indiscriminately aimed at everything and everyone, and even friends and loved ones. And we saw, we saw this before the election. We saw, we saw shit like this happening, right? Yeah. So how did it become so personal? Isn't this supposed to be a struggle between two well, candidates? Prior to the election, like with the media gaslighting everybody, it, like to, to, the, to the, the Hillary supporters, they just thought that their Trump supporter friends, they just kind of like arrogantly like patted them on the head and they like put up with them. They're like, oh, they, they don't mean anything. There are like five of them. And uh, anybody who had a half a brain could realize, though, it's like, yeah, you know, all the people on your Facebook supported Obama and now like 25 percent of them are supporting Trump. And, and like, like, where's that coming from? If, if, if people actually had some ability to think about stuff, but they, they don't a lot of the time and they're busy. I give them, you know, whatever. But um, well, they don't. Yeah. But yeah. once the election, once it became real that that Trump won and and they, these 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 little pets pet Trump supporters that everybody had around were were um were all of a sudden the 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 ones who won um they weren't so cute anymore so it started to get really ugly the, the uh, one thing that, that that I thought was interesting that was mentioned recently I, mm -hmm. I I wasn't aware of this uh but apparently the Huffington Post for the first 6 months of Trump's run put everything in the Huffington. entertainment section because they didn't take it right. seriously right yeah, I, I was, wasn't that aware was back of that. During the primary, I was. It was back during the primary. I mean, like, who cares what the Huffington Post does? I mean, they're prime example. No, 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 no. That's see, this is this is part of part of the problem. I think even with your side is that you're not aware of just how powerful these 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 influences can be, especially with the liberals. They read all this stuff and then they absorb it and then they process well, it on a level. They believe their own lies and that's how they get into this mess. So, well, I mean, like, you know, like, like, but. That, that's that's the way you always fail, and it can happen to anybody. It's not, I read a, not that. An I, ideological. I mean, it crosses ideological. If you start believing your own spin, you're going to get bit. It's just the way it is. Four you know, years, like, four years. I want to say maybe the first two years, three years. I was living in Brewster. Mm -hmm. um, I was reading. I, I was reading the Huffington Post. I was reading right. Salon. I was reading Slate, and then I started to see that uh, I, I, every everything was running together. It's like the robot thing, like what I was saying. Yeah, they the all repeat the same talking points. D d absolutely. They, yeah. they kept saying it over and over again. Yeah, that's why I don't pay attention to them. But I know, I know that other people do. But to me, like, I mean, I can only speak for me. That's why I say I don't give a fuck about what the Huffington Post does. But, I mean, I guess, yeah, you're right. In the scheme of things, that is, that is you know, uh, actually it's important. It's the central they ideology. Have a fairly that, big audience, you know. Yeah, yeah. 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 And it's, it's something that, you know, I, I would say this. I'd say the Trump camp got away with... with with quite a bit here because I, I had so many problems with the way they were running his campaign. I didn't like a lot of the, they, they had so many opportunities they could have seized on, but they got lucky in the end. They, and I say they got lucky oh, they knew what because they 
there are so you know it wasn't exactly like I said it wasn't a landslide so it's not it's not like it's a mandate or anything. Well, but... it's an electoral landslide, and that does that does provide a, a a clear mandate really at the end of the day. I mean, and and that's why that's why Obama and and everybody is making nice with Trump because like seriously he ate into their blue states. Now whether or not you know the popular vote yada 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 the popular vote really doesn't matter at the end of the day except to people who don't know what they're talking about. Well, he surprised uh, even Trump supporters. There were a few uh, people I was talking to during the uh, during the election as it was happening. And I said, I, you know, I think Trump's going to take Michigan. And other people were like, no, he's not going to take – he's not going to get Michigan or Pennsylvania. He wound up getting both. Right, right. Now, I, they yeah, weren't well, expecting that. They, they weren't. You weren't expecting Michigan either in I, our conversation. I was hoping for Michigan. I was hoping for Michigan. I was expecting Pennsylvania. Uh, Pennsylvania was something I had always in my gut thought was going to happen. But I had trouble sourcing evidence to back up my, my opinion. Uh, my, my hope and and I don't like to to rely on things like that but my gut everything about it and it's pretty much what I said in the podcast like and, and I, that I've said before is that the rust belt was going to bring him home and where I was really not sure was the west like the the New Mexico Colorado Nevada Arizona yeah even. but you you consider like, you consider uh, Pennsylvania to be a rust belt state I do I don't I live there I I you know the, they they did have, have manufacturing. Philly. But Pennsylvania has been an enormous because it's like the capital of democracy. It's Philadelphia right over there. It's 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 gone Democrat, but it's also gone Republican. We had a Republican governor a while back. I oh, remember please. that. Every, like Massachusetts has mostly Republican governors for the past like like forever a million. But we years. also had some Republican but mayors. We did. We they did don't have... vote presidential Republican. They don't. It doesn't happen. Like, very rarely. Happens. The last time I think was George H. W. Bush. What I've noted is in the pattern. As far as Philadelphia compared to New York, whatever Philadelphia does, New York does five years later. I've noticed this. It's very interesting. Oh, too. really? Man, yeah. Um, I told you before, when we were down in Philadelphia, we were looking at houses. Right. And I noticed at the time it was, what was it, 2008. And it was nothing but McCain posters everywhere. Nobody was interested in voting for Obama. Mm-hmm. And then I find out that a lot of votes, uh, for some reason, 59 districts in Philadelphia had tuned in. 100% votes for Obama, which makes no sense. Yeah, it's true. Absolutely. One or two people didn't go, hey, wait. Yeah. Um, I mean, <laughs> and, and, and the thing is, like, like I never, I, I try not, I don't get upset about that because if you have a decent candidate, you can beat the margin of fraud. And, like, Mitt Romney wasn't a decent candidate, and neither was John McCain. You know, like, they're just shitty fucking candidates. There, I, there's no, no way. I, like, you had to drag them over the fucking finish line if you wanted them to win. <laughs> well, and it just be, wasn't going to happen. It's the, 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 the same old, thing with Hillary. It's exactly the Hillary same thing maneuver, with Hillary. yeah. <laughs> Like no, Hillary well, is John about, McCain in a pantsuit. Seriously, what I think is that uh, Pennsylvania was severely scrutinized for this election. They were watching Pennsylvania like a hawk because of this. That Pennsylvania was turning into what they thought Ohio was gonna, was turning into uh, in two thousand eight. Right, and uh, he wound up getting them all. Ohio, I would consider more uh, Rust Belt, definitely because it's it's a big factory state. It's it's you know they did a lot of manufacturing. It's sort of There's what happened in Ohio is what happened in Pennsylvania. In Michigan. It may not be in Philly, but I mean Pittsburgh is a manufacturing town, and the and the rest of uh, of Pennsylvania there has been decimated by yeah but it's been decimated by by shitty policies and nafta and all this stuff all of their everything is gone like oh, it's a yeah, fucking yeah. wasteland michigan ohio pennsylvania yeah. and then what's next um i would say i can't say Wisconsin. new york yet i would have to say um no it has to be connected it has oh, okay. to be a connected state like a virus so it has to spread oh, okay. that way so i would oh, say okay. virginia is next all right. and then maryland and then something's going to hit dc of course well, let's get let's get back to this for a yeah. second. The uh, the okay. Uh, now I, this is this is terrible. I didn't want to use names because I assumed, and I was correct. Yes, most people would come to their senses and realize they were behaving somewhat foolishly. I was correct. You were. Most, if not all, of this anger was deleted. Uh, now this one particular friend I had, she was she was absolutely livid. She was one of the "fuck you, I hate you all" people, right? Right, and. I tried to I tried to kind of engage her on a level. I mm-hmm. sent her this little meme that somebody was floating around. It's like I, I'll respect you regardless of your political beliefs. Uh, you, to to unfriend yeah. somebody is 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 a hindrance to democracy or something like that. I don't know. I have the picture somewhere. I sent it to her. She completely flipped out on me, but she didn't unfriend me. That was interesting. I thought well, that's good. she I said, guess. "Stop it, Dave. Seriously," and and I was like, 
it's weird how we can now delete our moods and our opinions and our emotions and our friends. And that's on Facebook. It's weird. Uh, it is now, weird. I want to talk about the mutual acquaintance of ours who uh, unfriended you. Yes. And I was present. Blocked me, too. She blocked me. (laughs) I was present for the entire conversation as it deteriorated. But then you were unfriended, and guess what? What? Your existence is completely erased at a keystroke. You're wiped out. Uh-huh. I know you were there, and I know you existed. This is this is actually how liberty dies. Everybody keeps trying to use the the phantom menace meme of this is how liberty dies. But no, yeah. when you shut people down and you refuse them their dignity, yeah. that's when liberty dies. We can't allow ourselves to become this this beast. Well, I, you know, I think to a large extent we already kind of have, and, and and you just have to notice it and be introspective enough to realize what it's doing to you and a lot of people just aren't and it's unfortunate but uh now in that respect you know what i did last night i should have let left her her space but i was just tired of her put like pushing stupid crap that was fucking not true and, and I, pretending I, that it i messaged was. you during this i said remember what you said yeah i know rabid I know. partisan look, it was, democrat and, and if i look if i had the opportunity i would apologize for my behavior i would i, I, you I know really what would. i don't really think that i think that you were offering facts and you were demanding facts i would still and i was i was you were a little i would firm. still apologize for my behavior towards her because i i um I should, you know, honestly, she's still in like a grieving stage and she's not sure how to deal with it. And she is kind of, um, I think that, that I assigned an ulterior motive to her posting when she just doesn't understand. And, 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 she, and maybe she's trying to, and maybe, maybe, she, maybe I, I shouldn't have done that. That's, that's a, you know, I, if, I, and that's, that actually is really the thing. It's like, because, because I, I wouldn't mind having the opportunity to say, Hey, you know, look, I, I'm sorry I did that, you know? Um, and you and you don't get it when when you know things get to a, an escalation. I really seriously think you, you don't. Did, I, I don't yeah. think you did anything wrong. I don't think you did. At the end, I of think the you day, challenge yeah. people. Yes, yeah. I think sometimes the tone can be a little bit hard on people that aren't used to your tone. As I say, I know. I know. <laughs> you know, I mean, like, like you have your friends and loved ones. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, they know who you are. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they know what yeah. kind of a person you are. They know you kind of like you. You like to you. I, what's the word? You're like a man. You're a man, you know. <laughs> You're a man's man. <laughs> you are the Batman. <laughs> You're a Batman. <laughs> anyway, but I, I thought that they were being, you know, in in their from their point of view, yeah. they should be really engaging in damage control, not in in this passive aggressive. Oh well, you know, he's the, he's a rape, he's a rapist. Yeah. You elected a rapist. Like, how could anybody vote for him? It's like, well, he's his opponent was totally corrupt. Don't you know how corrupt he is? He's you know what she show. did? Your canting daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're doing like the old British voice. I got to do that. <laughs> they don't know what they're they you know they're 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 trying to I don't know. They're trying to stay within their programming. Yeah, well, That's I, I think I that it. it's very hard. Trump, Trump sort of short circuits people because he's not a traditional Republican. He comes with none of the baggage of the rest of the Republicans, and so it's very hard for them to like. They they're instinctively against him, but then here he is actually saying a lot of things that Democrats used to say, <laughs> and like and and. Yes. and you know, it's hard. That's it causes true. a lot that of cognitive dissonance. You know, as an impartial <laughs> observer, I agree with you completely. He is not your your. He's not a Republican. He's yeah, no, not. He isn't. He's not Dwight Eisenhower. He's not Richard Nixon. He's not any no. of these people. He's a, he's a New York liberal, which is kind of a conservative element well, among itself. Yes, I he always has thought those. what he what he is is a third party candidate who wrestled down a major party and took control of the of the of the domination. Like he he's like Ross Perot. If Ross Perot just said "fuck you," I'm seriously, yeah, the he's public. an independent. Yeah, he's a total independent. I, and yeah. but it, it, the the one, the only thing that worries me, but I I know I shouldn't be worried about this, mm-hmm. is that now Republicans have control of the House, the Senate. They have a pres- they they have this complete Republican thing. But now I know that Trump isn't really your typical Republican. So there's going to be some butting of heads, but they do need to come together and this seriously. I do like having a little bit of a mix of both parties because sometimes you can keep people from doing stupid things. 
I, 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 I can definitely agree with that to a certain extent, especially look, especially with our shit ass fucking politicians that we've got now. Like, I mean, the, 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 it, there are there are like pre- I could count the ones in Congress in both houses of Congress on one hand that are at all the least bit decent. Like, and, and that's that's pretty scary. It doesn't matter what party they're in, which is why actually, if you'll find a lot of if you really paid attention to a lot of the activists. A lot of the people who usually are conservative activists, they didn't give a rat's ass about the Senate or the House. They didn't care. Yeah. All they wanted was Trump. They didn't care well, if yeah, he was I, I, Democrats I, or Republicans. It didn't matter to them. If I must assuage my liberal friends out there, I would say mm-hmm. the president really, he, what he does is set the tone. Yes. He sets the tone for the four years. It's, it's not going to be – I mean people actually think he's going to be like – Benito Mussolini coming in there. He's gonna he's gonna kill the he's gonna kill the Congress. He's gonna blow up the House of Representatives, and he's gonna, yeah. you know he's gonna do all these. He's gonna he's gonna start deporting not only immigrants but but transgender people too. You know, it's part like, of that part of that instinctively, even though they won't admit it, is because Obama's kind of done whatever the fuck he wanted to for the past eight years, and nobody did I, shit uh, about. I don't know if I agree with you on that. I think Obama was stymied by by a many great number of things, and you know, I don't seeing think Obama the low had. Energy. I don't think Obama had the the ability to really um, organize himself to get things really effectively done. Yeah, um, yeah. Like, but I also I, like seriously, the Republican Congress. Look, he started with sixty votes in the Senate and a super majority in the House. He could have won. He could have got anything he wanted to. It, it, all he had to do was direct it. But he didn't manage anything. He let Congress put like you know shitty, crappy, fucking you know. Like uh, croniest bills up there, like Obamacare, and and then they they ram them through at fucking midnight on Christmas Eve because they don't want yep. anybody to know what the hell they're doing uh, because it's also, so. I do bad. want to point out, as Stephen Crowder pointed out, yeah, Trump got a lot of Obama voters. He sure did. You can't, you, you know, and that's that's what this this nonsense. He also about won women. Racist. He won women, and he yeah. won uh, Latinos. Yeah, after all the pussy, he didn't win Latinos. He got, but he got a higher percentage of the vote of Latinos than than Romney did. That's right. yeah. yeah. Well, that's I consider that a, a victory for for that. For a Republican, side anyway. yeah, that's that's pretty good, especially one who came out and said, you know what, I, I no more of this illegal immigration crap. It's proof positive that the Republicans who say that you need to pander to illegal immigration is is uh, are, are completely wrong. If if. Uh, that it, that could have been done in a more artful way by by a by a professional politician who really meant what he was talking about. Ha ha ha! Like such a thing exists. Yeah. Um, like like if that if it was they they would have won more Latino voters. Like, like um it, like you know it's really Trump's mannerism kind of rubs a lot of people the wrong way. It's kind of a regional thing. It's kind of like me. Like people you know I get Trump a hundred percent just being you know I've known tr- Trump my whole fucking life. You know like well, I, yeah, I that's that's a big about. that's also a big problem is that a lot of these people don't really know we. Know no, Donald yeah. Trump. We lived in New York. Yeah, if you like lived, some of you, yeah. I started hearing about Trump back in 1987 uh, yeah. in Philadelphia. So mm-hmm. he was there. Right. I mean, he yeah. built hotels over there. You know. Oh yeah, when I was a kid, you know, Donald Trump was, you know, he's always all over the news, the local news, and all that Absolutely. stuff. It's like he's, you grew, yeah. I grew up around him. Like, yeah. And and to me, all he ever was before he ran for president was the asshole who took away <laughs> my parents' fucking River View. Yeah. You yeah. know, and I didn't really think much of it. You know, really at the end of the day. Um, uh, but, uh, um, I did, you know, I always got him and then, you know, for, I see him, you know, when he's joking, a lot of people on the West coast and stuff, they don't understand his sense of humor. No, um, they don't. He couldn't even, you know, the problem, yeah. this is the problem is that he couldn't even get into California. He couldn't, he couldn't get it. He couldn't get him in there. They wouldn't, they wouldn't let him, they wouldn't allow him. California right. is owned by Democrats right now. And this is why all these people pushing for, the uh, uh, abolition of the electoral vote would be screwing themselves in the end because, oh, yeah. um, in reality, California is a very high Republican place, but all the big population centers are Democrats, and that's that's the issue. Right. Well, that's what the I, electoral I mean, vote is 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 now more important than ever. We need this level of representation because these these elites on both sides. They want the elections to be all about them. They do. And like they, they you know, this argument that, that Trump didn't win the I mean, look, the fact is he didn't win the the, uh, the, the we don't know for 100 percent sure, but most likely he didn't he didn't win the popular vote. Did we count but, Guam yet or but, no? 
I uh, know. I you know. I don't know. Maybe we didn't count the Pitcairn Islands or something. I, I really, <laughs> I I don't know. But uh, but you know, it's like like when, when you talk about this, like, well, he didn't win the popular vote. Well, the popular vote isn't what people were going for in this election. So if they were going for it, they would have run a different election. And who's to say that he wouldn't have gotten the popular vote? This Be- yeah. Um, because that's you know, why I said you know that's why I said I think the campaign was not handled very well. Oh no! I think he had. I think he had so many golden opportunities to really, really, really destroy Hillary. He could have. How is he going to? Like at the end of the day, I mean, he's running against a large portion of his own party, everybody in the media, and Hillary Clinton. Like, I, like, I, I mean, and I agree. There are times I mean, when I won. wish that Trump no would be more that. articulate and be faster on his feet and be able to knock her out of the fucking park and shit. Right. Great. Right. I get that. But in terms of running his campaign, dude, they won blue <laughs> states. They had that chick running around fucking fucking. Uh, they're, they're acting like she didn't know she was losing. But I was telling everybody on Facebook, if you remember, for weeks before that, I could see that they were playing catch up and totally fucked. Well, yeah, but, yeah. You, you know, were you. Your argument was they were not behaving like winners. Right, and they were they were they were doing things that like that indicated that they were far behind in places that they shouldn't have been behind in places that they ended up losing. In fact, right, like, like um and and yeah, like 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 so so obviously the 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 running of the campaign as a, as a campaign in order to get electoral votes and win was run very well. Um, it, now, in terms of if it was a campaign to get popular votes, yeah, they didn't do that very well. But they, that doesn't make you win. That's like saying, you know, like like the uh, the Steelers are playing the Eagles, and and uh, you know that yeah, those those Steelers they scored more points, but man, the Eagles they they had more yards. Like, well, you don't fucking score football games by how many yards you have. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yards only come into play when a player is renegotiating a contract. They're like, right. if you can clear a certain amount of yards, you get this much money. Right. That, but there is no win, yeah, and well, those people it, don't make the Super Bowl. If it was Bowl. scored by yards, they would have run the entire game differently. And yes, who's to it say was, that they it would? was about yards? You know, <laughs> yeah, you know. Chips, All right, so we have a new category this year: best film ever made by a human being. I would like to say to all the people out there who told me not to make this movie, Chuck Khan, Chuck Khan, who who said no to me when I asked him for money, who who wouldn't even read the script or return a simple phone call. It's my favorite teacher at film school who, whose parting advice to me was to uh, try and find a job somewhere teaching Spanish at a woman's college. Talk it on, talk it on. And to uh, Dolores Del Sordo, the girl I loved, I mean I really loved in high school, who, who left me for a, a, a junior varsity football player. Talk it on, talk it on. To all these people, and many more. <laughs> I, I would love to say thank you. I can't. Because what I really feel like saying is go. Oh no. Obviously, we just lost the satellite feed. That sucks. You are now listening to Extreme Cinema with Andrew Legank and David Lawler. I um, I reached an impasse with these people, the, the, a number of people, because I don't quite know how to communicate with them anymore. Um, if they're living in an oppressive fantasy na- scenario, there's something seriously wrong with them. It's a scenario they constructed for themselves. People were threatening suicide. I thought yeah. or presumed generations would grow more cynical right. as I have over the years, and you have too. You've gotten cynical. Yeah. I know. Right. I know you were. You were. Uh, an avid supporter of Trump, but I know you're cynical. I am. Well, the cynicism is what brings you to support Trump at the end of the day for me. Uh, that, that really, you know, well, like, yeah, if you want to, if you look at it that way. Yeah. But for me, my level of cynicism is nothing ever gets done. Nothing is ever accomplished. We're all, you know, it's just getting steadily worse. I, well, I agree time. with that. That's just the I way agree I see with that, it. 100%. But, but um, that's why, which is why I embraced this change that was totally new and something we'd never done before and said, hey, we got to run down this road because we've got to do something. Otherwise, it nothing does say is ever a lot. going it to It does say a lot for, you know? for, for the state of our nation. It does. But well, now, yeah. with, with, with my friends, I feel more, more and more uncomfortable. And I know you and a few other people did what I call spring cleaning. 
Yeah. Well, I haven't done it yet, but I am tempted. Well, what, you know, I, the thing is, I love many of my Facebook friends. The majority of my Facebook friends are people I know personally. Yeah, so I'm willing my, my to look too. past the behavior. I mean, that's love. Love is looking past the flaws. And there, there were physical threats. I was, I, I was issued a minor threat the really? other day. When I was uh, picking up Regan from school, a, um, 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 I believe a middle-aged black, black woman told me to watch my back. I was like, what? Really? Definitely. I didn't even vote for anybody. It's just the <clears> white <throat> male. I'm the white male, so therefore... I have to watch yeah. my back. Yeah, well, welcome, welcome to the new world where you know, like I, I'm in whatever. But the, the, you know, I have plenty I could say about that, but I get myself in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am going to let me see. I'm going to pull up a couple of the choice ones that I saved because I was lucky enough. Oh, okay. A lot of this stuff was deleted. I saved a couple of. Well, uh, I can also I can tell you what uh, what sent me off yesterday and made me made me so pissed off. All but, right, go ahead. You start. Um, well, yeah, the. Uh, um, Yesterday morning, like this this woman who's known Heather for like two decades, right? And we met, we, you know, we went out to California a couple of, know, a year and a half, two years ago, right. and, and we did we threw like a party for some friends of hers, and and uh, and and uh, and we all had a nice evening, and and I met this this friend of Heather's, and we, you know, she she friended me on Facebook the next day. And she's, you know, she's been friends with Heather for forever. They've known each other for 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 a very very long time. Yeah. And um and all of a sudden, like she, we have never had a one cross word about this. I've seen her post a ton of things that you know that I think are ridiculous. Right. Um and I had never said a word to her, and she unfriended both me and Heather. That wrote this nasty thing that was it was kind of written like she was really drunk, but she did she didn't unfriend until the morning. So I don't know why, but but you know that she was letting the axe fall. She was even going to unfriend family members that she wouldn't tolerate anybody who voted for this hate and wanted this hate. <laughs> And, and, and like, you love and, hate. That's why yeah. you voted for him. Because you, you bet, love hate. You know, yeah. Hate I Trump's love hate. Love, oh my God. You know, or something. I, I, don't, I don't know. And I'm like, 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 how delusional are you? You don't understand. You can't. Like, can't you possibly. The, the, somebody that you've known for, for decades. You can't take five minutes to say, gee, man, maybe there's more to it than that. Like, like uh, uh, rather than just assume that somebody that you've known for so long is is a complete piece yeah, of shit. Yeah, 20 years. You yeah. love them. They're the greatest people in the world to you until they suddenly turn into monsters yeah. in front of you. <laughs> yeah. And with that, with that, I mean, just, just that whole thing, you know, it didn't even actually bother Heather that much. And I've only met this woman once. But, I mean, it really fucking pissed me off. Like, like, I, I, like I just that the idea of that is so backward thinking. And just wrong, I, I I I don't understand. And then that was what set me off, and what just made me go on like a whole tear with all of these fucking people. Like enough with them and their whiny bullshit. I'm sick of it. Mm-hmm. Like, like, but anyway, yeah, okay, go I on. got so, one. Where here. Are the- um, I think you might have been involved in this conversation. I'm not sure, but I yeah. Yeah, everyone started talking about. Oh, I'm leaving the country. I'm going to Canada. Shares going to another planet. You know, Barbara Streisand yeah. going to Canada. Well, Barbara Streisand can go to Canada, by the way, because she owns a piece of property right on on the border between Washington State and Canada. Oh, so she can just all she has to do is just hop, skip, and a jump, and there she is. But yeah, I when started- she's in Washington State, her nose is in Canada. Yeah. <laughs> you are fucked up. <laughs> All right, we'll have to bleep that. <laughs> oh, we just I lost just our satellite feed. <laughs> um, so what I wrote was, why does everybody want to leave their country? And then this person wrote, Trump will have control of a huge military nuclear arsenal to power to spy on any American <laughs> and to kill in the name of stopping terrorism. The Republican Party has got overwhelming control of the government now and will surely fall in line with Trump. This is definitely bad. And I just wrote simply... Yes, and Obama drones innocent women and children. What's your point? And he says, I wasn't looking for an excuse in Obama. How do you like my voice, by the way? To hide the truth about Trump, but to each their own. I think you chimed in. You were like, you know, your mother's a whore. Fuck you. You know, the the usual stuff you say, you know. The kind of things I come with, but I just want to piss somebody off. (laughs) Um, And the thing is, I I don't think that, you know, the thing is, when I was in high school, maybe when you were in high school, too, uh, we did we took a civics class and we learned the ins and outs of government. We learned about checks and balances and the separation of powers. You can't just go blowing shit up just because you want to. 
No, it, it typically doesn't work like that, even typically, though apparently yeah. some presidents have gotten away with it at the end of the day. This executive um, order yes. bullshit, which, mm, yeah, you know. That, and, that yeah, I don't the executive like. order stuff, and, and of course there, there's covert ops and things like that. So, you know, th- things do happen, but, you know, this this is a person who's completely ignoring the, the, the epic battle that Donald Trump has had with the Republicans. Like, is there really going to be a, a, a crawling into bed together? I don't think so. I but, think there's going to be a lot of, uh, I, you know, the thing is, they, we talk a lot about the Democratic establishment. There's also a very powerful Republican establishment well, out there. There sure too. is. And they're all the same. I call them the Uniparty. Yes, they're sir. the same party. They're just they're two wings of the same fucking party. It's all a fucking goddamn kabuki theater game. This bullshit about this one wins and this one. It's a bunch yep. of crap. And Trump just came along and blew it out of the water, which is why we are in uncharted waters at the moment. What do you yeah. think about Julian Assange's assertion? Assertion, sorry, that yeah. um, that 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 Qatar and Saudi Arabia chief uh, chief donors to the Clinton Foundation were the ones that created ISIS in the first place. No, that 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 that's that that sounds a hundred percent right to me. I mean, I think I think uh, I think that's that's probably true. That's why Assange said that no one will ever permit Donald Trump to be president. Right. Which is interesting in and of itself. I, I swear well, he didn't you, actually you, say that. He said they may not permit it. He did, it wasn't a definitive it. statement, but yeah, I mean, it's still a strong statement. Don't get me wrong, but it wasn't yeah. definitive. Like they're never going to let it happen. I would, uh, would, I would, I would be careful. I would be, you know, thinking I, I'm about surprised, doubling the security. To be honest, dude, like that's one of the things that all of us who support Trump have been worried about. He's taking on people like, like the, look, the the uh, the globalism game. Mm-hmm. The the um the global warming scam and yes it's a scam maybe there is like let's just put it this way maybe there is anthropogenic global warming but all of the solutions are a scam okay mm-hmm. like like everything that they put in place is all about controlling energy for the oh, well, benefit yeah, of a very yeah. small definitely number of definitely oligarchs. you could see that if everything. you open your eyes I yes. know people yes. believe in taking care of our world our planet yes right. i understand that that's a noble purpose but the people behind this that are trying to construct this 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 narrative about global warming and c- climate change are not thinking about the planet they're thinking no, they're about not. making money off of this that's why i love I, trump is like we're taking every dollar that we spend on that global be, warming for the world and we're going to put it into our clean air and our clean water and that we're should be a non-partisan view that this is, is exactly what every wood would want yeah it is it is and he's like, not like, going to put smokestacks in, for God's sake. No, he's we not. We have enough smokestacks. Yeah, yeah. I found uh, the thing that I wrote, the thing, the thing that the meme that I put in my yeah. friend's uh, thing, and she deleted it completely, by the way. I said, I, it's just a guy with a thumbs up, and he says, I will respect you regardless of your support in this election. I don't unfriend people due to political views that degrades democracy and free thinking. And she didn't want to hear it. Yeah. All right, I have another one here. This is a good one. You're going to love this. Mm. Uh it's from a, uh, I'm assuming this is a young uh, black woman, mm-hmm. and she wrote, please, everyone stay safe today except white people. Y'all can fucking die. Oh, God. <laughs> this was uh, published uh, November 9th, 8.44 a.m. And, of course, that's not racist at all, right? No. You know. <laughs> There's another one, a new group that popped up with a whole lot of members now, and an ex-girlfriend of mine is a member. Uh, it's called He Isn't My President. So I wrote here in response to her, mm-hmm. uh, according to Obama and Clinton, he is. And uh, she wrote back, <laughs> <laughs> she sent me a picture, actually, and it says, fuck you, you motherfucking asshat, which is lovely. <laughs> and, I, and I wrote, you know, I can talk to her. I, she's, she's approachable. She's not one of these people who gets incredibly angry. Anyway, I wrote, I'm only going by what my president, Barack Obama, whom I did not vote for, said. And she wrote back, not to me he is. I don't represent, I don't represent sexism, bigotry. And I said, I didn't vote for Trump either, but we must come together as a people. Right. And uh, I don't know. I guess she left the conversation at that. I don't know where. I, I, I can't even wrap my head around that. I, I kind of get tired of that. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, on to the election. Now, we can just talk about the election straight up here. I Now... I was floored. I seriously was floored by the outcome of this election. I told you the last time we spoke, I saw Hillary landslide. Right. I now, know. Imagine how much money was put into advertising the recent Star Wars movie. And then on the day the movie is released, nobody shows up. People <laughs> could care less. 
Yeah, Imagine yeah. that. You can't. You assume hundreds of millions of dollars are spent. The media is bought and sold and favors are traded. You pull every fucking string you can and you don't get what you want. It's absolutely amazing. Right. If, if you take a step back, I was asking around. I like to know what people think. I was asking people. People I could have a conversation with. I was comfortable enough to ask. If mm-hmm. this was a referendum on the last eight years or a rebuke of Hillary, for the most part, it was uh, everyone. Everyone was noncommittal. They said maybe both. It was probably both. They. they it's hard to say. I mean, it's even hard for me to say. I, I mean, was all about like, pro-Trump, so I, that's a different dynamic. I, it, it wasn't for me. It wasn't enough of a landslide to constitute uh, any particular demand for change. That's interesting to me. It was more of a whisper. I don't think it was a statement. It had to. It had to definitely involve Hillary's impropriety, her suspicious activities, her looking emails. At it I think you're looking at it wrong. It's a many ailments. That's what I think. It's a regional thing in certain parts of the country, like New, like say you know the urban parts of New York and California, where Hillary wins tons of like a lot of popular vote support. Like like they they don't have a problem there. They're not decimated there like they are in Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Ohio, North Carolina. You know, like the the these like like so like to to those of us. Who I mean, and I'm I'm not I'm not decimated personally, like not to a certain not certainly not certainly not like a lot of people by any well, means. Yeah, like but but like like to to, to us, like it's an imperative that there must be change because if there isn't change, then all of this is going down the tubes. And a lot of people in these cities don't realize that they don't they don't see it. They don't know. They don't they don't have any frame of reference for it. I, look, I don't care if Trump had run as a Democrat, said all the same things that he ran as a Republican. I would have voted for him. I, I would, I would have t- told the Republicans to go stuff it up their ass. Like, and so would most Republicans. Well, you, <laughs> you're looking at now because of the outcome of the election. You're looking at a lot of high Democratic Party officials who are out of a job. Yeah, and really, that's what it comes down to in the end. When you have eight years of the Democratic Party in power, so to speak. You have a bunch of people trying to keep their jobs. That's true. And, and now they're not. I you know what they're going to do? They're going to wind up the in the media. I mean, the, like uh, most politicians go into media. That's what mm-hmm. they do. It's, a, it's a very much a, a very short stone's throw to it. Oh, that's well, that's true. At any given time. There's, there's, a, there's also there's another dynamic to this. It, it, like, and that's one, one of the reasons why the pollsters got stuff wrong. I mean, there was a lot of corruption in the polling in the media for sure. But but one of the reasons and that. that, that oh, that yeah. And regional, feeding into the bias. That regional issue that I'm talking about is one of the things that made it damn near impossible to figure out po- the polling of this election. Because it, now you're talking about when you're talking about popular <laughs> vote wins, is, oh. you talk about the uh, co- we call them cocktail party Republicans. That, that are you know they're moderates and they're 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 easy on on social issues and they're more liberal and they live in bigger cities they don't want anything to do with trump they, they want a a bush or a, or a McCain or something like that they don't they don't want anything to do with trump or with a conservative republican or like in trump i don't i don't consider trump in that regard um uh, strangely even though i think his policies are more in line with that than than anyone has ever been um but but the, he's not uh, he's certainly not a social conservative um and and um the the those people didn't come out so if if you were polling calling around the country you're trying to find you know you, you, just because you run across somebody who's a likely republican voter you're not asking them what kind of likely Republican voter are you, you know, are you like a Bush supporting guy or are you like a guy that would would support Trump or yeah. uh, like, you know, it, it's hard to hard to gauge. There's also really the, more, the the simplest explanation, which mm-hmm. I've heard come out and I suspected was that people lied. They they were polled and they said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm well, voting for Hillary. Of, there's some and then they'd be like, I'm actually. Well, there's there's some of that because a lot of people. Hey, look, those a lot of people. Union workers I, know, I know a few in, in the people Rust who Belt, actually said that. Those union they, workers in the Rust Belt, dude, you can't tell the truth. You don't know who you're talking to. Like you could be talking to somebody that'll break your fucking legs. Like that shit. That shit is no joke. You know those people don't play around. Like you, know, you don't tell people you're going to vote for too. the Republican in the election. You just do it in a voting booth and nobody knows any better. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, it's, so the people I, I would like voted... to also make the point, though, that there, you're not just looking at this at this election. This is part of a slow move that's been going on since 2010, where, I mean, the Democrats have been shellacked from dog catcher all the way up to the Senate in each midterm election. Now, Obama was able to pull off win, a win in 2012. 
in in the middle of these two. But in twenty in twenty ten and twenty fourteen, I mean, they were destroyed. Like, I mean, to the point where when it came to Senate seats this time, they had to run retreads who had lost and been chased out of office for voting for Obamacare. And they and they got fucking shellac doing that again. Right. Like, like because they don't have a bench anymore. It's gone. All of their all of their feeder stuff, all their small offices, man, they've all gone Republican, like which is kind of scary in some regards, um, because. Uh, the, the more one party is in power, the more corrupt it becomes, no matter which party it is. Yes, it doesn't yes. matter. Again, okay. these are part of the checks and balances. And again, yeah. if you took basic civics, you would know this. Yeah. You know, and a lot of people don't. They were too busy voting with their heart. They weren't thinking about practical concerns. Yeah. They weren't thinking about globalism. They weren't. They, they, it was all no. existential stuff. It was, it was evil versus good to them. It was racism, yeah. sexism, and all that stuff. And Michael Moore said the vote was a giant fuck you to the powers that be. He was right. He this was, was the uh, fuck you election, it. 2016. Pegged it, that speech of his pegged it better than anything else, really. It was funny that Michael Moore did peg exactly what was happening better than anybody else. That's right. That's absolutely right. <clears throat> now, the problem, uh, Now the bigger issue for me now, today, was Bernie. Mm -hmm. I was right. thinking that Bernie is not a globalist either. He's not, these, he's not this kind of guy. He is very much – there's a few things that he and Trump have in common. He would have provided a, a, a much more – dynamic, high-energy candidate to go against Trump. And it would have been a much more difficult choice, I think. Um, and it is possible. I think Bernie could have actually he won. He might have been able to, but again, it, it's so hard. Because he, to... he doesn't have all of that baggage that Clinton has. No, that's true. He didn't He didn't have all the baggage, but he has other baggage. I mean, because he's not ideologically in line with a lot of people who typically vote Democrat, and that's an issue. Um, and, and of course, then Trump would be uh, the same example of somebody who's not ideologically in line with a lot of people who typically vote Republican. Um, and and there would still be a lot of negative created on the Republican side and, and from the Democrat side towards Trump. I, I, to, to, to sort of piece that together... I still think Trump would have pulled it out, but it would have been a very, very different race. Yes. Yeah, you know, th there's no question. And it's almost impossible really to game the whole thing out in your head because it's just so much stuff that can happen. I mean, look, look at how um, how important some stuff was during the fucking course of the campaign. And it turned out to be absolutely nothing three weeks later. You know, uh, and and you think about that, like, you know, these campaigns go on for a well, year. Yeah, and, a half, and also you, you, know? you consider all of the stuff that Hillary tried to do to Trump is stuff that Bernie wouldn't have done. Bernie right. would never have done the pussy grabbing thing. Bernie would never have, have tried to troll out a lot of this other stuff. Cause these are primarily issues that you want to get women involved in and women, right. if they, if they sense that somebody's grabbing pussies, they're getting angry. You know? Right. Whereas Bernie wouldn't have time for that. It's like, what? What? I never, you, found, I looked, you found the video from 10 years ago? What? <laughs> the fuck? Nobody I talk like that all the time. Nobody wants to hear about your video from 10 years ago. We're going to get, you know what? Al Pacino <laughs> is Bernie Sanders. <laughs> totally do that. Age, totally my, do yeah, that. About now, yeah. You really get Christopher Walken to play Trump. <laughs> That'd be fucking awesome. Oh, shit. Uh, I wonder if there's anything else. There's nothing else. I guess, I guess we're kind of done with this, but... yeah. It has it's it's been interesting. It has been yeah. it's been an education and the thing is I, I think what people need to realize, even those who voted against Trump, uh -huh. is that as president, we still have to hold his feet to the fire. We have to make sure Ew. that he does not do anything that's going to really make people regret. Well, what, what I would ask these these folks is to really look at his policies, the, his stated policies. And, and if you're if you are a Democrat, that there's there there are some things in there guaranteed that you're you're going to be OK with. And all I ask is hold his feet to the fire on those like like and support him when when he agrees with you ideologically. And 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 the, like when we'll support him when he's right and we will fight him when he's wrong. I don't expect to to agree with Donald Trump on every issue because I don't. There are a number of things that I don't agree with him on, uh, but there are a number of other things that I felt were more important than those things that I don't agree with him on. Right. Like, like, and all of us need to, you know, yeah, look, it sucks when you lose an election. Believe me. Hey, look, I watched Obama get elected and reelected. That fucking sucked ass. All right. <laughs> so, I mean, I get that. 
like I totally get it. <laughs> but but at the end of the day, um, there is stuff unlike with Obama and Republicans. And, and, and you know, I'm sure that there's some guy who who come along and give me a whole bunch of crap about saying this. But the fact is, he didn't have anything to offer Republicans. He came in there as like, I won. and Fuck you. I like that. That was Obama. And like, like there wasn't anything for a uh, for a Republican in his platform. And for and in in the case of Trump, that is not the case. There is actually a, a wide swath of stuff in his platform that appeals to mainstream Democrats. So I say, why don't we all get stuff that we want? You I know, agree. why don't we use this as a chance to make meaningful, positive change for all of us in the country and stop hating on the guy and stop all this nonsense about sexual assault, which is total bullshit. And, and you know, and just move on from that and go towards something that's positive for all of us. And you know? uh, now the Democrats have an opportunity here to really take a long, hard look in their mirror and understand that people don't go with things just because the press tells them. Yeah, I know. They have to understand that. Yeah, it's true. If you put a lot of money into advertising a Star Wars movie, yeah, you're going to get big box office numbers. Nobody's going to not ignore it. They're going to go. They're right. going to want to see it. Right. Uh, this was this was a, a you know that's why I don't call it a landslide. I call it an upset. It was an absolute upset. This was like well, it was definitely an upset. I still it's over three hundred electoral votes, three hundred six electoral votes. It's an electoral landslide. I think that's fair to say. But you know, yeah, I mean, look, but there's still no popular landslide at all. Yeah. Um, but uh, you know, it is what it is. It's still a decisive win. I mean, there really there really isn't anybody with any credibility behind their voice saying, um, yeah, we should challenge this. There's there's a bunch of uh, you know nobody is you know nobody is and, and, and this is part of there. my my general overall suspicion when it comes to politics. This is why. I didn't vote for Obama twice. Um, I didn't vote. I, mm. what I didn't like, was this the the sycophantic hero worship, this messiah, uh, the messiah character they built up in Trump. They saw him as a savior, and I didn't like that. And Obama, or Trump? and I knew he was going to win. For some reason, I knew Obama was going to win. I knew he was going to destroy McCain. Yeah, well, that was obvious. I didn't because you had eight years of of W. Mm-hmm. And uh, you just sort of knew it. You knew it. I, I don't know why. Now, Hillary, well, I, yeah. this is what I thought with Hillary, too. I thought that that if you inundate the press with all of this and you spend a year, a solid year, telling children about Hitler and about rape and about pussy grabbing, that all of this. And But this is why the kids freaked out. They yeah. freaked out because you are you are programming them, and you are. They've been propagandized. Yeah, they've been persuaded, as uh, as Scott Scott Adams would say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up. You put me in right. bed. Yeah. And it was good to hear uh, hear him chime in. He chimed in a couple of times. Did Mason chime in? Aww. Every time you cursed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk like, to your daddy. What's fuck mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's the fucking Cheerios. <laughs> Give me that rice pudding, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, well, you know, our kids will be one day running it. They will. <laughs> they will. And th- you know, President Regan Lawler. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right uh thanks again for listening right. uh busy week for blissville uh plenty of stuff down the pipe have a nice night good night i fart in your gender direction your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberry You must have